Does it make sense to purchase a social signal pack if the site is about a year or so old, or is it too late for it? So the question is basically, are social signals any good for your website or only at the beginning? Um, you know, social, all a social signal is, is it's em, you're emulating um, or social, social signal signals are basically, you know, likes, shares, comments, whatever on social media for a URL on your website, right? So if someone shares your uh, URL on Facebook and then people are liking it and commenting it and someone else shares it or whatever, you know, these are all social signals. And, you know, they're absolutely good for your site at any point in time. If you just, uh, you know, with link building, with SEO in general, you want to think about, you know, what's what's natural. Right. So is it natural for a website to only be talked about on social media at the beginning of its life? No. No. Right. Not you, a good one, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be very strange if, you know unless I guess the company had a lot of like press and a lot of buzz at the beginning of its life. And so, um, yeah, it was being talked about and then it just died. Uh, but yeah, I can't really think of any case where it would be normal for a company to be talked about on social media in the beginning of its life and then not at all anymore. Um, yeah, unless it just decays, right? Um, like you said, or it's a piece of viral content or something like that, that then just slowly, you know, dissipates over time and things aren't interested. But then that's also going to resonate the same way in Google, right? So the consideration should be, let's say you're hammering the site with links, um, you know, you still show up in forums, you're creating chatter with social signals. So you always want people talking about your brand or your company and sharing information about it. That's going to register um, whenever it's uh, crawled by Google crawlers. So um, social signals are something we include, um, you know, every month. Uh, so I would advise if you're doing a heavy backlinking campaign of any kind, then social signals are going to be um, proper to mix in. Yeah. Um, just to show you some stuff like so basically we include social signals on our pillow links pack um, for people that aren't familiar with this thing it's a uh, pillow links pack is basically a pack of uh, like kind of like foundational like white hat type links um, like directories social profiles web 2.0s um, just stuff like that um, and we include social signals in here because we just we kind of see it as this like you know, additional form of diversification. Like it's a, an additional form of, you know, something you can do on the internet. It's not quite, it's kind of like a backlink, but not quite a backlink. Um, but, you know, it just makes everything look real um, natural and normal. Yeah. Imagine this, right? So a news site publishes whatever, you know, said president did on whatever day. If they did that and then that page got a ton of backlinks, but there was no social chatter, wouldn't that be kind of strange? I mean, when when popularized content or popularized products um, begin to take you know hold, uh, what happens is the consumers or the people that are sharing this type of content are on social media and they are actively sharing. So. It's almost like by omitting um, using social signals throughout the process. Um, you're also emitting a factor of, you know, making things look natural, especially if you're doing some heavy backlinking, because it just doesn't make a lot of sense to get a bunch of backlinks from um, hard to get, you know, websites, etc. But then there's no chatter um, in forums, social, uh, social profiles, etc. So yeah, keep keep using them. Yeah, it's um, we we do use them quite a bit um, for stuff that we're ranking. But it's also not like, um, you know, I wouldn't get the impression that just buying a ton of social signals is going to like rank your site. It's more of like um, I would consider it in like the pillowing or kind of like maintenance uh, l level for my link building strategy, right? Yeah, unless you're like doing something, I guess, uh, kind of wild, right? Like if you wanted to do something advanced where maybe you're sending like five, 10,000 backlinks to a site in one month, um, then you would want to increase the yeah. other natural type of things that should go alongside that. So we're talking about getting into very technical 
um, high budget backlinking um, uh, maneuvers, then uh, yeah, you'd want to increase that alongside it as well. And there's no exact percentage, right? But um, you know, they all they all come up together. Yeah, and just to kind of expand on what Nick said, I don't know if he talked about it earlier. I kind of zoned out for a minute, but um, <laughs> but so yeah, so you know, if you're if you're buying a high amount of links all at one time, right? Something that you kind of are you think might look kind of unnatural for the site, right? So a good way, like you said, would be to to hedge against that by basically, you know, doing some social signals, maybe even doing something like a press release, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, so you're basically, you're putting some stuff out on the internet that would justify your site getting these other links. So, you know, if, if a, if a, company has some big news they're launching a new product they're putting out a press release to talk about the launch of this product and you know news companies are picking it up and then website you know other people read it in the news or whatever and they start writing articles about it it starts to make sense you know the the picture makes sense and um you know social signals can definitely be a part of that tie the room together so to speak yeah so yeah um back to your question um should they be used only in the beginning? Absolutely not. Um, just like any kind of other like pillow pillow linking, um, something you, I would do like periodically throughout um, your link building. Um, you know, like you saw on our product page, they're really cheap, or you, you know, you can probably get them other places as well. They're they're never something that's going to cost you a ton of money, um, and yeah, just helps to kind of tie the whole room together. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking!